And then people with fullness too is you're you're not going to be full on stage if you're dry because full is water. Right. You know, you'll be contest full, which means you might get a little bit of a pump backstage, but you're not gym full. You know, and people that's the worst. People think they all think they're going to pump up or fill out or add some carbs, and they're just going to like burst out with all this fullness. You you know that's water. You know, you mm -hmm. can't dry out and then be filled to the brim with water, you know? Hey, do you think the pursuit of that look is why people end up doing dangerous things? Like, I don't know, I'm going to take, I'm going to smash like, you know, five different diuretics, but then eat 2000 grams of carbs. And I think it'll make my muscles super full, but I'll have nothing below the skin. Yeah. And that's, that's, <laughs> and that's usually, well, that's why spilling over, but because people, people like screw up spilling over they think spilling over is from too many carbs it is but it's not because really what it means is it's not like you spill over the, like you don't spill over you don't eat too many carbs and the carbs go under the skin what really happens is you you so you take a diuretic let's let's tr let's go let's do the first principle stage we take a diazide how does diazide work it makes us pee out more sodium we pee out more sodium so what happens our blood sodium level goes below 0.09 percent well, to get that back up to 0.09%, we have to dilute, remove some of the water. So there's a higher concentration of sodium. So you pee out the water. Okay, great. Well, we, we're also taking in carbs during this. We shouldn't be if we're doing things right. But let's say we're trying to load with carbs while we're taking the diuretic. So to store glycogen, we need water, sodium, and, and glucose. Well, we're increasing our glucose and we're decreasing our sodium and water. You know, so what's going to happen? Pretty soon we're going to reach a point where there's all this sugar in the blood and, and no sodium and water to take it to the muscles of glycogen. And so now we're hyponatremic in relation to the amount of, amount of glucose we have. And, uh, and I talk about this like over the years, I, I feel like I'm almost like a broken record on this term, but redistributive hyponatremia is what happens. You spill over because you have this, your blood sugar concentrations going up. You got this, this mess where you're, you don't have, you're too hyponatremic. You, uh, you got too much water in the blood, so you need to, you, you, you're already peeing out too much sodium. You're not eating sodium. There's, there's no way to get that sodium concentration up by through sodium. So the only way to get it up is to remove uh, water, which means, and you can only pee it out so fast. So now the body redistributes it under the skin. And that's technically because it's related to the fact that your blood sugar was rising, which came from the carbs. But it's not that you spilled over because you ate too many carbs. It's because you didn't have the ability to take those carbs to the muscle. And you get this case where blood sodium concentration is too high. The only way to get it back to the level we need is to flush out water. We can't pee it out fast enough. And there's all this sugar in the blood. So the only thing we can do is then spill that water under the skin, you know? And so it's it, because one of the best ways to fix spilling over is like, like add sodium and, and, and you'll suck that water back up and then it'll right. bind with the glucose and then it'll take to the muscle. But what happens when people spill over, what do they do? They don't, they, they, they take a diuretic and make the system worse. And that's right. where you get that glassy, that gloss, glossy donut look, that glazed donut, smooth skin, water spilling under the skin. Oh, I spilled over. I wasn't dry enough. It's like, if you took another diuretic, you would have made it even worse, you know? Yeah. That, that makes your approach make more sense thinking about it that way. Cause it seems like you, I mean, you're not like super conservative with carbs on the load, but you're not extremely aggressive either, but you do, I think both. Both times for my peak, at least, you basically told me to keep eating salt throughout the whole process, ratchet water up to a certain point to get uh, what is the basically the diuretic hormone upregulated. But it's like I've had plenty of salt and water basically up, but like, you know, the water's cut off and then like just enough carbs, it seems. And if we need to add carbs, we do. Yeah. So really, like, it's just as a real rough general approach, you want to carb up. While, while you have unlimited water and sodium, because that's the only way you're going to bring glycogen up to the muscle. And then after you've filled out and you like filling out, you have to remember what you're doing, filling out with glycogen, that glycogen will stay in the muscle until you burn it out, burn it off. Filling out as that watery fullness, that's not stage full. And you can't be that stage full because that's extra water. That's not glycogen. Mm -hmm. So you fill out and you will be nice and full and you'll look a little watery. And that's true spilling over. That's not the spilling over that people use because people, when they're spilling over, they usually have it. Uh, well, honey, sorry. <laughs> you, uh, that, that's true spilling over. And then a diuretic will fix that. But that's what you do. You, you carb up and then after you're full and that glycogen is there and you're not going to burn it off because you're not training or anything anymore, then you dry out. And then you're going to lose the excess water that's not bound as glycogen. 
you know, but then, but you lose that excess water. So you're not full like you would be with all that water and you can't be, you can be, you can be stage full and you don't want to be more full than that because what wind shows is, is conditioning, you know, right. bone dry and slightly flat beats really full and slightly watery a hundred times out of a hundred, you know, it's like fighting a shark in the ocean. You're going to lose that flake nine times out of 10. I'm curious.